action. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, happy Tuesday. It's kind of weird on Tuesdays. It feels like we've been gone for like three weeks. And doesn't it? Well, it's because we weren't here Saturday. What's yeah. that? It's because we weren't here Saturday. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we did our class on Saturday. Yeah. So thanks for everybody who attended that. That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, we did the first part of... Um, Twilight. Twilight, yeah, exactly. So they did a couple of really cool blocks. If you guys haven't done that, you can still get it. So we do, we do. Maybe. Yeah, really. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Anymore, whenever I say you can still get it, I, I like I cringe. I know, you. exactly. It's hard to get Be anything what you anymore. Promise. Yeah, that's for sure. So, well, happy Tuesday. So we've got a lot of fun planned for you today. Uh, Val is actually going to sew out a design from one of our favorites, Creative Kiwi. Kiwi. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yep, so it is super cute, by the way. In fact, I put in the description, super duper cute. So, <laughs> it's kind of seasonal. seasonal. It is very seasonal. Yes. That's right. It's perfect timing for you, so get ready. It's the second day of fall. I can't believe that. It's the first day of fall. Oh, is it? I thought yesterday no, was the first No, yesterday was. Yeah. Pretty sure. I don't know. The leaves are changing in the mountains. They're really pretty. Oh, are they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to go up there this I was weekend. driving over in my son's neighborhood the other day, and there was so many leaves on the ground, it was scary. And was yeah, like, oh, there when is. When did this happen? I live in a yes, new neighborhood, and that's what I love the yes, most yes. about it, you is there's no trees. trees. <laughs> <laughs> really? I love that. I, I love the sound of crunching leaves. I like to step on them. <laughs> I'm like a little kid. No, <laughs> oh, I love the leaves changing. No, that's okay. I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. You know, so uh, I could just picture Christine jumping. Oh, I do. I love it. <laughs> it's like my favorite. So, um, couple of quick announcements. Uh, we do have the. Um, OESD event coming up on Thursday so it's not too late to sign up for that um, again it is on our website so you can go out there and it'll have a link for you to click on and you can go out and register for that event you do have to register through OESD it is an event that they actually um, are in control of so it'll be Thursday at 10 o'clock and I am going to be sending one last email just as a reminder to everybody um, it's a free event. Uh, OESD does an incredible job with their events, so I, I think you'll have a lot of fun. It's all about quilting in the hoop. So they're going to have a whole bunch of techniques, stabilizers, all the um, stuff that you need to, to do some of that fun quilting inside of your hoop there. So, um, so look for that tomorrow. Um, and the class again is on Thursday at 10 o'clock. Kate, we're still we, doing live that day too, right? We are doing live that day, yeah. So I think it'll go 10 to 12. So talking usually. of live, I am getting several requests or comments or questions on the mystery. So I have not released the applications as of yet. So they will be on the next mystery. When we do the next mystery, which will be one day this week. Um, so a lot of people think that I've missed, um, that they've missed them or that they can't find them and we don't know where to find them. You don't know where to find them because they haven't been posted yet, okay? So um, they will be going up the next live on Mystery that we do. Keeping you in suspense. That's what we're all about. That's good. <laughs> will um, they be able to watch OESD later? I believe so. I, I need to double check that with OESD, but yes, last time we were able to That's watch that for 48, 48 hours. 48 hours. So you'll have about a 48 hour window of replaying that, um, that event, so yes. Uh, but you do in order to replay the event or to get into the you're gonna have to sign up and register with them so they can send you the link to get into that replay even so just make sure you get signed up if you even if you can't do it on Tuesday Thursday Thir this is Tuesday Tuesday Thursday yeah <laughs> what, what? what day oh, is this, it? see that's the problem it's that's... Tuesday today <laughs> <laughs> the teddy bear was covering up my days so um so on Thursday, again, make sure you get signed up for that so you can replay it. It will be a 48-hour window. Hmm? You can, you can redo that. So, mm -hmm. um, winner. Oh, yeah. You got it. <laughs> You're like looking at me like I, I was going to say. Um, so today we're giving away this Prairie Quilts book. Even if you live in the city, you can still own the Prairie Quilts book. It is going to <laughs> Susan, Susan London. So Susan London, yay Susan. yay Susan, congratulations, you get the Prairie Quilts book, and I think you're in 
Littleton store, but let us know where you want to pick that up, Susan. I, I can't remember. Um, I do choose Littleton. Yeah, I do too. And I've got a joke. It's a cute joke. You brought your computer over. I brought my computer over yeah, just for my joke. Me. Exactly. All right, you guys ready? I'm ready. It's really super funny. Okay. All right. you. <laughs> Ralph is driving home one evening when he suddenly realizes that it's his daughter's birthday and he hasn't bought her a present. He drives to the mall, runs to the toy store, and says to the shop assistant, how much is that Barbie in the window? In a condescending manner, she says, which Barbie? She continues, we have Barbie goes to the gym for $19.95, Barbie goes to the ball for $19.95, Barbie goes shopping for $19.95, Barbie goes to the beach for $19.95, Barbie goes night, night clubbing for $19.95, and divorce Barbie for $265. Ralph asks, why is divorce Barbie $265 when the, all the others are only $19.95? That's obvious, the sale lazy said. Divorce Barbie comes with Ken's house, Ken's car, Ken's boat, <laughs> Ken's furniture. <laughs> that was cute. I like that one. I'll give you that one. Uh, <laughs> that was cute. All right. Um, so I think we're going to turn it over to Val. Do we have anything left? I don't believe so. Anything no. else? No. We've got a couple of things to talk about whilst it's sewing, but Oh yeah. By the way, there was a long saw today and we're trying to figure out how to stall for time. So we'll we'll come up with something, I think. So They like that one, Patrick. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta show it off because I think it's awesome. It really, is cute. really awesome. So here's what we're making today. It is the Witch's Cauldron Coaster. Another coaster. This is a giant coaster, though. <laughs> this is like um, it's it's a morbid trivet. A, oh, another trivet. A trivet or a coaster, every time or a I mug call rug. It a coaster, you guys call it a trivet, and every time I call it a trivet, you call it a coaster. Or one because we're females, you're male. That's right. <laughs> so this is it's really it adorable, by the way. And we do have kits, right? We do. Yeah. So we've got kits for this. Lots of black fabric. That's what your kit consists of. So and some. Batting. 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 Yes, exactly. But again, super cute. I think you guys are going to love, love, love the love, 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 love this one. <laughs> what are you drinking today? Oh, exactly. And I think it'd be cute if you did the embroidery in purple. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that, that would be, be cute, cute too. That was mm -hmm. super cute. We, I like have the orange the, here, but we could so do So it's purple. purple purple around the top? No, no we're purple. Gonna some, I've got a different idea on the around the top this oh, time. Oh, good. Okay. All right. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Why is the camera still on me? <laughs> <laughs> no, All right, guys. So I've hooped up two layers of dissolve away mesh. And Christine I'm gonna do it. using my 8x8 eight eight hoop here. So by using the 8x8 eight eight hoop, and I have this on my USB stick, and I'll bet we haven't put it out there yet, have we? I have not, no. Okay, so we'll get it out there for you guys. We promise. Um, there are Jerry said it's a COVID glass of wine coaster. Whoa, yeah. That's right, exactly. <laughs> Ladies, there are actually four different sizes that come with this design. So you can have a 4x4, four 5x5, four, five five, six six, or I chose to do the 8x8. Eight eight. Who the glow in the dark thread on the top would be cute too. That would be cute too. Very cute. That would be awesome. I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing it's going to do is just uh, stitch out the placement. And I chose to use two layers of batting on this, guys, just to make it a little fluffier because there's nothing better than a fluffy cauldron or something like that. Um, Patty said, Patrick, please show us how to quilt the boo panels after they've been embroidered. I would be glad to, yes. What boo panels? The boo for the pillow. Boo oh, the boo part. Okay, so the, the only thing with the quilting them afterwards, you will not be able to quilt, you wouldn't be able to quilt them afterwards with Kimberbell's quilting designs. You have to use those first. Yes. That's so it would have so to be with be IQ, IQ fills, um, Patty, just letting you know. And you don't. All right, so I'm putting my batting down now, guys. 
And the kits are five ninety nine. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that, huh? Um, Betsy is asking where they find the replay for the boulevard. In your email. Betsy, there should have you should have gotten an email for the relay. And I'm gonna that. send it again to you right now, Betsy. And he's gonna send it again to you right now. Okay. So we have two layers of batting. Right. And I went ahead and used two layers of dissolve away just because there's some heavy hat satin stitching around the outside here. So this is going to do nothing worse than a flat cauldron. Well, no, because I mean, really, guys, I'm going to stitch this twice just because I want to get rid of it. So everything it. we're going to do today, we're going to do it two times. No, not everything. <laughs> not everything. Two times the layer, two times the batting, oh, yeah, two double, times double. the stitching. It's a double-double. <laughs> um, is Twilight $39.95? The CD? Or $34.95? Yeah, and the, we got some in today. Yeah. Patty, I'm trying to find out the price for Boulevard for you. $29.95. It is $29.95 and then 20% off. The kit was $34.95. Karen Merrill did not get the email for the class as well. Okay, we'll see how fast I can trim this. Twice as fast, I hope. Me too. <laughs> but I am doing it left-handed. Oh boy. With right-handed scissors. You know. Annette Anthony did not get the email. <laughs> Jeanette said, don't make two times the mistakes, though. I'll try not to. <laughs> but I am getting older, and my brain is getting frazzled. So I might. Getting. Okay, Excuse Cindy, can you just, I think Cindy's watching. We just make note of the people who didn't get the Boulevard class email so that we can get Patrick a list. Did you hear what Patrick said to me? That was naughty. No, I didn't hear him. I said, my brain is getting old. And he said, I don't know, it was naughty. They like your shirt and they like your shoes, Val. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought maybe it was fall and I should quit wearing the summer stuff. No, not yet. Not yet? No. Okay. I'm not doing a very good job trimming. Nobody cares. My scissors are getting dull. I used them too much. All right, guys. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Happy Halloween. I would have just thrown it on the floor. Well, I know, but I thought the trash can was sitting. Oh, it's clear on the other side. Just throw it down. We'll get it right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I chose to use the black grunge because every cauldron needs to have a little wear and tear. Where it Hi, gets Rich. Hot and cool. Yes, that's a good one. Good fabric. Uh, yes, as Lorraine mentioned, the email for the class um, to watch the rewatch the Boulevard does come from a different email. It doesn't come from right. It doesn't come from above and beyond. No, it comes from above and beyond. Oh, yeah, but not so Patrick personally. Not, yeah. Okay. It comes from our So shall we try purple lettering? Is that what you guys are wanting? Yep. All right. Can you grab a, a bright purple mm. out of our trusty drawers? Mm. Oh, what about that one? Okay. That's pretty good, don't you think? Yep. All right. So now it's just going to do the second stitch around the fabric so we can trim that off. Now, what Christine and I talked about, we're going to try something on this one. We're going to try putting some mylar down mm -hmm. under the top. And we might have to stop it and just check and pull the mylar out. 
case or you're chomping on caramels and chocolate. Oh. They were pretty Good tasty. for her. Do you have to increase the height of the presser foot because of the extra bulk? I did not. We did not. All right, so we're gonna give this a shot, guys, and see if we can, oh, we might not be able to, Christine, those are little pieces. Oh. It's all right. <laughs> this is all little pieces. So I did not try this ahead of time because we just thought about it this morning when we were cutting kits. What color thread are you putting over it? Hmm? I would put a different thread over it, not black. Would you well, do black? Well, don't you think this will shine through the black? I would do like green. All right, let's try green. We're going on the fly here, This people. is on the fly, girls. We have no idea what this is going to look like. It's going to be super cute. This is going to be ghoulish ghoul. That's the only thing I know. It's going to be super cute. All right, now I'm not going to tape this down. Just going to hold it until it goes around. What it's doing is like a knockdown stitch. Which is why I think you could do. I think it'll work. The mylar. I think so too. But see, it doesn't. Yeah, you gotta hold. You could have taped it. I could have. <laughs> <laughs> With some Kimberbell tape. <laughs> so Christine and I have been deserted. Everybody left us here. Yeah. This is gonna be good. They're telling us to be adventurous. Oh, we are. Why, certainly. So it is doing, the only reason why I suggested doing the mylar because of the stitch at the top, it is sort of, it's it's not a satin stitch and it is a close kind of knock, yeah, like a knockdown knock stitch. Yeah. Um, so it will hold the mylar down, but you can still sort of see that shininess through it. Um, so, um, it will I think it'll work for this so they do have to have a certain stitch over the top of them for the mylar to stay down and to be shown through and I think this, this stitch will work really well um so the snowman from last week I see your guys's uh questions about it I'm not ignoring them um I just have not done anything with it I haven't been in the store to um I've been at Kate's house um, so I haven't had a chance to rewrite that. So, um, at some point I will do that for you in her spare time. Um, because she but basically so I think what we had kind of decided was that you can watch the video to redo it. I told you the sizes and the sizes were everything on there. So if you wanted to watch the video to do it, you can. Um, so the mylar we are good. using is just an iridescent mylar. Um, so Kimberbell does have a tube of the mylar, but it has like silver, black, gold, and iridescent in it. So it has a couple different, uh, couple different um, colors of mylar. This one I think is actually from. Um, yeah. The, what's her name? Yeah, that other one. Um, Pearly Gates. So she just has the iridescent mylar, and I think that's what we're using right now is from Pearly Gates. So we found it in the drawer. Oh, this is looking great. It's really shiny. It looks really bubbly. Okay, so before we load up, and change our thread. And I am using a black bobbin all the way through here, guys. All right, let's see how this tears. Look at that. Oh, it's perfect. It is perfect. That's oh, that would be a good idea too, to like do, um, you could do like silver mylar and do like a orange thread over it to oh, make it yeah. look like a hot. Yeah. You could do all kinds of fun yeah. stuff. Whatever. And you're gonna have a big wide satin stitch around this anyhow. But so, look at the color on this, guys. The um oh Isn't my gosh, it's great? so cute. It shines. See? It moves. See, you're so um 
if uh, you can actually put this is heat resistant so you can wash mm -hmm. and dry and all the the mylar is um is heat resistant so it would be okay to put like if you're using it for a trivet or a hot pad oh, cool. or something okay. yeah we're gonna try putting a ribbon or a piece of string on this um hey patrick yeah can you please get me a tube of the Kimberbell Mylar and a bag of the Pearly Gates Mylar, please? Yes. And oh, then yeah. we're doing purple. Purple, purple, purple. On the witch's brew. Um, Barbara, yes, I could put the applique nose for the snowman up there. I'll do that after this class, so it will be on there for you so you could trace it. Also, guys, if you wanted to change the wording on this, if you didn't want it to say witch's brew, if you wanted it to be something personalized, you can always go in and add that lettering and just skip what they have here. Yep. They've asked us to show them how to do that a million times. We should do that. We should do that. Yes, we got. Why we didn't should. We think of that. We thought of mylar. So, uh, Charlene, you don't necessarily need the pattern to do the snowman. Um, it is just the fabric. And then, um, but like I said, I will put up the nose piece so you could trace the nose for the applique. Um, but I did talk to Kate and you have to change a pattern by so much percentage before you can rewrite it as like your own. Um, so I need her help with that. We have to change it 20% yeah. because of copyright. Yes. Um, yes, there is a kit for today. Um, it is $5.99, so it does not include the mylar or the ribbon or anything. We are just showing you that there are different ways that you could kind of dress it up or change it a little bit. So it just has your fabric and your batting, and they are $5.99. Mylar. 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 Here, I'll get this. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Patrick for two different kinds of mylar and he comes back with leather. <laughs> um, this one did not come from the bike shop. It's actually a creative kiwi. Hi guys. I just called Jean on her stuff, Patrick. It's right. Yeah, it's Patrick. It's right on that table. Did you get the mylar? Okay. All right. Hold on just a second. Hold this on your project. Let me just hold this on the project. No, the packages are gone. I did not walk over there because I didn't have my mask on and we have customers. When we're back here doing lives, we'll take our masks off. Mylar tubes from Kimberbell are nine ninety nine. And then the pearly gates is a one piece four ninety five or a three pack for eleven ninety nine. Okay, so the pearly gates is one sheet for I don't know that we can get it right now though. Yeah, four ninety yeah, we haven't I don't know. We're not sure about the pearly gates one, but I don't know if we can order it. It's a three pack yeah. for eleven ninety nine. Three pack for eleven ninety nine. But I, so, I need to double check with Kate on that. Yeah, I like the Mylar effect too. That really looks good. It makes it look more like Halloween-y. It does. But you have to realize I was doing this mid midnight-ish. Um, Jane, if you go to... When did I do that? Last Friday. What is that date? If you go to last Friday's... Um, Hang on, folks. Oh, our foot. Our foot is um, Date off. on our website. So the 18th. If you go to the 18th, on the second link, I did link their website um, for the bike shop. So if you wanted to try that, um, if it doesn't work, let me know. But I did link their website up there. I believe it's the second link, and it'll take you there to all of their designs and stuff. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to find a screwdriver real quick, and there's no quarter. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I think I like the grunge especially just because yes. it gives that two-tone mm -hmm. like it's been hot and cold and hot and cold. 
You're looking for something. I am. I found something. Christine found something. Okay, this has somebody's name on it, but I'm going to show it to you. So this is the uh, Mylar tube from Kimberbell. So it has three sheets of gold, three sheets of silver, three sheets of black, and three sheets of iridescent. Um, so that is the one from Kimberbell. And they also have a jewel tone one as well that has like pink and green and red and oh, that would be other, really that would be cute too. Yeah. yeah. So the color of purple we're using is a Robinson Anton, and I don't know what color it is. We could probably match it up to a Floriani. We can match it up, yeah. It's just one that we had in our old thread drawers. And this is actually a polyester that we grabbed. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> yes, it makes it look like a well-used cauldron. Yes, it does. I like it. Because all cauldrons that are worth their money are well used. They're not just solid black. So we have a couple more trims here that are coming up. Yippee skippy. Yippee skippy. And I'm going to try and fit a string in this one so it could be hung. Hung, which I think would be really cute. Like on, on your door, door yeah. yeah. Put the kids' names on it. Oh, that would be cute. They could, if they were in school, they could take these to school. But since they're not in school, part of them. <laughs> Makes it look completely different than your other one. It does. So funny. Look here, guys. Totally different. <laughs> Renee, any new fabric? <laughs> no, oh. not yet. We got all kinds of Kimberbell goodies in today, so we had to unpack eight Not boxes. any fabric, though. Just, no, just, just stuff. Stuff. Eight boxes of stuff. Yeah. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So all we have to do is a little more embroidery here. We'll do some trimming. We'll try and figure out how to put our ribbon on. <laughs> you better have tape. Yeah, think. Except it has to go inside. Do you have something to add as bubbles from the top? Oh, no, I hadn't thought of that. Me neither, I don't know. I suppose we could curl mylar or curling ribbon, but I don't know how we would keep it in there inside. Um, you would have to actually add another piece of fabric on. I don't know. I don't know if we could do that, but you could do bubble buttons. There you go. If you if you're so inclined to do bubbles. Yeah, Kimberbell has some green, like lime green buttons that oh, you yeah, could put you on could there. Put that would be cute. Um, Renee, we didn't friends. get any new stuff. It's just the stuff that was ordered from the new product launch. Um, there's not anything new from Kimberbell to show you, um, beside of what we've already shown. Um, and, uh, embellishment kits, um, are on back order. We have not received them yet. But we're I, praying. We are. Um, there is a lot of people waiting for those, unfortunately. And we're hoping every day. I know. I'd sort of like one someday. So the kids don't have the mylar. That is just something that we had added um, as a little embellishment to just to show you the different things that you could do. Um, so it just has your fabric and you could add any color mylar that you wanted mm -hmm. um, if you wanted to do that. Any color, um, any color thread. Um, we are also going to do a little hanger on this one, which you could add if you wanted to to make it a door hanger. Oh, you know, well... Oh, South Africa doesn't celebrate Halloween, oh, really. really. Mm -mm. Well, that's sad. Okay. 
Um, it would be cute also, which we talked about, um, to do over the Mylar if you did it in the glow in the dark thread. That would be really cute. It'd be really cute. Mm -hmm. And if you were using some of the colored Mylar from Kimberbell, it would enhance it. But this, the uh, iridescent <laughs> is great. Use bubble wrap pop pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know how that would work too good. Yes, the embellishment kits are back ordered through Kimberbell as well. Um, they are for the Twilight Boulevard. I think they underestimated how popular this um, pillow was going to be, unfortunately. Because not very often that Kimberbell is out of stock. <laughs> right. Um, I'm going to get one thing here. Okay. I don't think Kate talked about this. Did she mention this? Mm-mm. Uh, during product launch, we had a message from a Michelle Berlin. I've reached out to a couple Michelles on Facebook. And you, if you're watching today, you had asked us to order you the Enchanted Santa CD and Four Yards of the Fabric. If you are watching today, and if you would please just message us so that we can get your email, phone number, something so that we can reach out to you and take care of this order. Yes. We do have glow in the dark thread, um, Candy, yes. Um, Everybody needs glow in the dark thread for hey, Halloween. Tell them our, uh, <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> our website and how to get to OESD. Okay, good. You want to come? See? Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to trim, and then we've got to put the ribbon in. Okay. Uh, I, I forgot to get the pop ruler. I know. Do you okay. have them here? Um, we probably do, yes. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, I'll ask up here. Okay. Okay, so, so it's above and beyond yeah, sewing. I forgot what I was doing again. Dot com. So above and beyond sewing dot com. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's our uh, Floriani event. Yeah. Okay. So I need to talk to Matt because it's not on there. Well, couldn't they go to calendar? I have not gotten a notice Go to events. I don't think he's got a link, though. Oh. No? Nope. No. I got notice of the Floriani, but not of the OESD. Okay. I'll have it up there. Well, you know what? I'm going to send another email. So I'm going to do that. You'll see that first thing tomorrow morning. So you'll be able to join it that way. Um, and I'm going to try to have Matt. I'm not sure if I can get a hold of him today, but I'm, I'm going to try to get a hold of him and see if he can get that put up there. So, okay. So the only glow in the dark thread that we have that I think we might have stock in is just the regular glow in the dark thread. So if you wanted the colors, I think we will have to order those because they make them in like an orange and a green. Yeah, and yeah. Okay, like so in a tube. yeah, or get a pack or something yeah. like that. Um, so um, they still have it. Yes. All right. So this is what we're gonna let's go over here and let me show you some of the different ribbons and things that we thought we could use. See, the green would be cute. We could use green from Kimberbell. We could use the black from Kimberbell. I'm using the, the black twine. The black twine. Or you could use the black rickrack. Rick Super cute. So now what I'm going to try to do here, guys, since we've not practiced this portion. So there was a question on could you not have put the... Uh, ribbon on or tie on the first tack down added at the first with the tack down stitch from the back of course was a question you could but i this is what i was thinking was on this last tack down right here because now we're going to grab a piece or if we had a glue stick that would be the best but we don't i do this will this will work it won't okay. hurt. This is a cauldron. It'll just get a little icky. So we're in the, we don't want our hanger too long, I don't think. We're gonna tape this down in here, and now we will put our backing on. Now when you, since we're adding 
ribbon to this, we're gonna have to be a little more um, aware of our cutting when we trim our back so that we don't trim the cord. Kate, do we have any of the, can you go grab a glow in the dark thread? Pat, on the notion wall somewhere. All right, here we go, guys. Pray that it stays where it belongs. Okay, so would if would you not put a piece of tape right here just to make sure it stays? You could. Oh boy. Okay, but you're not going to. But I'm not going to. <laughs> See my hand. You're crazy. No, in fact, if I'd been home, <laughs> they said I'm sure Christine has a glue stick. <laughs> if I'd been home, I would have probably not taped anything. Oh jeez. Just because. Okay. Like the tape getting on here and sticking like it's doing. All right. So what you want to do is just lift up. Make sure. So the the regular glow in the dark thread is just kind of like that greenish color when it's dark. When it glows. Oh, sorry. I put, We're going to go back to our black. You definitely, if you haven't used a black bobbin, make sure that do you not put your any? black bobbin in. Um, because this is going to show. Yes. Do you know what colors the other glow in the dark thread shine? Do they actually shine those colors or is it just After, the look? No, they look white. And then when they've been in the sun and then it gets dark, they glow like greens and pinks and oranges and things like that. All right, is everybody saying they hope everything stays where it belongs? I am. I am hoping that for you. I see the edge. Yeah, but not of your little yes, hanger dibby dobby up there. Do is up there. Carol, we did not get any large black rickrack. The Kimberbell pack has three different sizes on it, but it's not still a jumbo. It's just um, a larger size. How much for the Michelle stuff you mentioned? Michelle stuff. Patty, what are you referring to for the Michelle stuff? Oh, I see. Um, the, that, the fabric. The fabric, it's a four yard, you want four yards for the Santa wall hanging. Do you all remember the Santa wall hanging from the event? We could look at that while I trim yep. this real quick. We will show you um, what it was. And I think Margaret had asked about her fabric. So we, we got in a little bit of the fabric and we cut what we could um, from that. And then, but we have more coming in. So if you didn't get your call for the fabric, it's just because we will. didn't get, we didn't no, get enough fabric. Yeah, we got one bolt and we kind of divvied it up how we possibly could. So that's yeah. why. Multiple. And how much is the CD for that one? Do you remember? Um, I do not. Kate, can you look that up? I got it. The Enchanted Santa. The Enchanted Santa CD is fifty four ninety nine. And then there is a thread kit, and ladies, you really want the thread kit. Unless and the thread kit the is the one seventy nine. One sixty nine. One seventy nine. I'm looking it up. It is one fifty four ninety nine. And the thread kit is one fifty four ninety nine. If you have a lot of isocord thread, but you're missing a few, we do have all of the isocord threads in our other store. And you can just let us know and we will get those, whatever you're missing. Which is what I did. And my tape is stuck to my finger. Okay, this is where you want to be careful when you're coming around here. Not to... Can you grab my... <laughs> Thank you. You are making a combo trivet coaster. What a great idea. Hanger. Hanger combo trivet. Trivet trivet. Trivster. Now, now I am going to take... Put a little tape up there. Okay. Because 
it has a lot of stitching to do. So while it has a lot of stitching to do, we have a couple other things to show you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are it's we running out of battery? Connect, no network connection. Uh-oh. Hopefully we're all still here. <laughs> okay, hold on. They had questions. Snowman kit. I don't even think I have any, do I? You might have one. Oh, I do have some. Okay, so the snowman kit was for this hot pad, and it's a pattern that if you want to do it without buying it, you could watch the video. Um, so we did that, I think, last week sometime. Um, so that is what the snowman kit is. And this is the Enchanted Santa that we were talking about. This is an OESD product. so cute then, okay everyone's saying we're still good okay good so one other thing here today oh yeah this is new this, this is, is new. new and it's beautiful i was able to get the latest and greatest janine babbage tri stand and we do have them on order but this is grateful thankful blessed tri stand, tri -stand. So we have another Janine Babbage, which is Grateful Heart, but this is the Grateful, Thankful, Blessed Tri Stand. You can put it on the white. Which I think yours, because it's darker, looks really cute on the white. Uh -huh. But or you can also put it on the on charcoal. The charcoal. So either way, we have both of these Tri Stands in stock. And we are taking orders on the newest Tri stand design. Isn't so it cute? Just comment on there if you want that. Okay, so they want um, for this Santa, there was a fabric kit that was like four. It's four yards of the Moda Grunge that I used. Okay, and then there was a thread kit um, for it as well, which was the $154.99. And then there is the design pack or yes. the design. Um, for fifty four ninety nine, um, and, and yes, Claudia Val did use the OESD thread colors. Yes, I so did. the isocord, right? I did isocord. Yes. Okay. And I I didn't have to buy the thread kit this time because over the last couple of years I have collected most of the thread colors. Okay, and then how much is the that design pack, and how much are the tri stands? The tri stands are twenty two each, twenty percent off. And I'm sure this will be another $16. 16. Yeah, so most are. of their little three panel things are $16. 16. So we have ordered those in. We're just waiting on them to be released. I think I heard October 10th, possibly. If you go ahead and you want it and you pay for it, we can email you the design file so that you can get started on it. Cute. But isn't that just the nut? I like this one because the fall in love, which we have with the leaves up there, is great for August and September. And then we have Halloween, which is the boo for October. Yeah, they have it all the time. You can have one and then every you can month. Do this for Thanksgiving. Yeah, I really like this one. Uh -huh. But I like this one because sunflowers are my favorite. Okay. And then you can do either of the Christmas ones. Mm -hmm. So we are covered. We can do joy. Well, you could do the season. tis the season for Christmas. Let and it snow. Joy. Well, let it snow is more January. January. Yeah. And then the Valentine's for February. She has one for everything. Uh-huh. Very cute. So if you don't have each and every design pack, <laughs> you need them all. <laughs> Okay. So how's it looking? <gasps> look, look. It's working. So it does, I love what she does. She does the satin stitch and then she goes back around and does like a cross stitch around it. I'm Here. glad that it's working. Me too. I wish my <laughs> machine worked. That's cute. Belle has a sad machine. The Mylar is cute. Yeah, the Mylar is great. Yeah, it turned out awesome. That's really, really adorable. 
and the purple. So now we've got purple and green. About the camera belt. Um, if you go to Betsy, if you go to mykimberbell.com, um, there is like the jump stitch or the quilting. So there, they are something that you purchase through Kimberbell. Um, they have quite a few different packs that you can purchase. They're just downloads, um, but you'll get them directly from Kimberbell's website. But you do have to quilt the entire back. You Correct load them into iq no you have to so you quilt the whole backing piece of your fabric with those designs which is still works out fine to do that yeah i uh, guess i think colored vinyl would work i think it would be really cute sure the mylar just gives it a sparkle mm-hmm Could do the glitter fabric and stuff too. Glitter fabric would be good. We they can put are not on fabric free on Patrick's shirts. <laughs> Tassels. On your shirt? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Um, Patricia, uh, Patty Hunter. Um, you said they're not free. What are you, what are you, oh, the quilting designs from Kimberwell. No, they are not free. You are correct. The orange glitter is gorgeous. So, just to clarify, yes. the glow in the dark thread stitches out what color? It stitches out white. Yes. And after it's been in the sun and you put it in the dark, it gets a lighter shade of color. Like it's a green kind yeah. of, it's, I don't know. It's not as bright as no. what this is going to be. So if you really want something, I think the Mylar is a better option. And Christine's giggling. <laughs> Sherry said, it'll be nice when Mike goes back to work so she could hear the lives better. <laughs> oh goodness. Sorry, Sherry. Well, we have mm, about eight more minutes. <laughs> Patrick, they're doing a great job stalling. There. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. Yeah. Yeah. What else are you going to show them? Uh, what else do they want to see? Yes, yeah, so Todd, um, you can, the IQ you could use to quilt around the design like we did for Love Notes, but you won't be able to use Kimberbell's quilting designs to quilt around because of the way that they have it is a full rectangle or however so it's one design so you won't be able to do it around your embroidery but you could do it with the iq right yes 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 yay 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 <laughs> they said don't let him explain tassel <laughs> <laughs> uh. Just, just as a little teaser, I'm getting ready to start another tile scene. Ooh. Ooh. Has candles on it. Ooh, cute. Yeah. Eileen, this is a free design. We don't have it up on our website yet, but as soon as we finish, we'll get that posted as um, for you guys. It's from Creative Kiwi. So they've got um, this one. They've got a bat, and they've got a cat sitting on top of a pumpkin. They're all free. Um, can you hold up your tile scene again? My tile scene. Yes, I can hold up the tile scene again. But then there's also, they have so many beautiful tile scenes. This is the latest. It is really cute. They do a nice job on their tile scenes. You know, they do. And the shading. The, on de the detail. Yeah. yeah. And then we have the O Holy Night tile scene over here behind Kate that I did last year. Oh yeah, I like this one too. So can you explain how you sew them together? Right, so you're going to do each tile seam separately, or each tile separately in your five by seven hoop. And then you trim it leaving a half inch seam allowance. 
And the thing, the most important thing that you do when doing a towel seam with OESD is on the last stitch around, you change your bobbin to a red bobbin. Because when you go to put it together, you're able to go pinning it, you're able to match each bobbin to bobbin. And if you did red or black bobbin on a black, it's hard to see. And there's, so I just use a, usually a white bobbin until I get to my last stitch out and it, you stop and then you put the red bobbin in and it works great. So you, I usually sew across on each one of these and then sew them each row together. It's easier to match them. So, Very pretty. Um, I think my other, most of my other ones, got one, a couple at home, Littleton has one up on their wall. This is one of their older tile seams. Are they super hard? They're time consuming because each tile takes about an hour or so and they're 32 tiles and usually in a seam. This one is all done with applique, so a little different, but still, and what I did on this is I used the Isacord thread colors and then went to my resource center for fabric and matched my fabric to my thread. Very cool. So just, and then here are a couple more tile seams. This one is called Dashing Through the Snow using lots of the uh, metallic threads. Look at the snow glitter in that. Very cute. Red thread in the bobbin for sewing tiles together. No, just on the, the last stitch out on the tile. You want to use black or whatever color thread to match your background fabric. Have we have not done a freestanding lace demo? Um, and I really think the only reason why is because it's just it's stitching. Um, but we probably could find something. I mean, I could do something like on the little donkey or something just to show you how to do that. Yeah. Um, because those are pretty easy. But the train station up here, that has so many pieces. It takes several days of eight hours a day or so yeah. to do those. This is all freestanding lace. So each one of those... It takes a while to a, right. stitch them out, then wash them out, and then B put them B wash them out, C put them together. Um, what stabilizer do you use for the tile scenes? The tile scenes. Okay, so I don't. I'm a, a rebel. I use two <laughs> layers of no show mesh, hooped along with my one layer of fabric hooped. And this is where I differ from a lot of people. I pre-shrink my no-show mesh. I take a roll home. I put it in a hot washer, hot water, and a hot dryer. And if you roll it back on your roll, then it's it's fine. You don't want to iron it. But it does shrink a bit. Okay. If you don't do that and you steam it when you're putting your towel seams together, you can get a lot more puckering. Do you have any hints or tricks on using metallic thread? Uh, slow your machine down if you're having an issue. If your machine loves it, just let it go. Metallic needles will work. If that doesn't, top stitch needles will work. But if your machine loves metallic, it loves metallic. And do you use batting on the tile seams? I do use batting on the tile seams after I have it sewn together. And the reason I do that is then you don't have all of the seams showing through the background. Cool. And I like to do my backing out of the same fabric as my uh, base fabric. And then do and you then just stitch in the ditch? The yep, I stitch in the ditch so you can see. And I always put a sleeve on so they can be hung. Very cool. They're saying you do beautiful work. Oh, thank you, but OESD does the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> the shading, and that's why I, the first one I did, I tried to match the colors. It just didn't, the shading wasn't right. Of the thread? Yeah. 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 I, the Isacord thread, it's so worth it. And after you start buying two or three kits, then you're able to just buy three or four extras and you'll have it all. So. Okay. All right. Perfect. So how are we doing? Are well, we almost done, Catherine? I, 
don't know. Let me see. Have you not been watching? Oh, yeah. It's been oh, the The hit. last one. Oh, yeah. Never mind. How do they do the decorative stitch? Do they come back over the top? They or? come back over the set. In sections? Yeah, usually. Wow. That's why I do like her. Yes, this, they're this, digitized very their well. digitizing is really well done here. Okay, let's see. What stabilizer would you use on the cotton velvet for a tile scene? I would still use no show mesh. Okay, no show mesh. It's my favorite stabilizer. Two layers. Yep, two layers always. Always to, and always hook your fabric and your stabilizer because that's going to help. You're putting down sometimes 40, 50, 60,000 stitches per little 5 by 7 hooping. You're a superstar. Oh. <laughs> this is super cute. Isn't it cute? And look, it has a little hanger on it. We improvised. Woohoo! Oh, did you guys put that to do the. That's pretty unfair. Because we're so super smart. You we are, are super smart. <laughs> are, aren't you glad you have the super girls here That's working right, for exactly. you? Are the tile scenes done without the backing and then the backing all at once? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Each tile scene, I wish I had mine here. So I they want you to do a YouTube video on the tile. On the tile. tiles. Okay. Oh, I could do, I've got one I'm putting together. There you go. We could do that because I have the part of it put together. All right, look here, girls and boys. Woo Yay, it's so cute. All right, now. I love it. I love it, too, but we're going to have to be a little <laughs> careful cutting this out. All what right, so. you got to be careful about? The hanger part? The hanger part, but I can't no, I find my good scissors, the pointy ones. Where did they go to? Um, so, do you use black no-show mesh if your fabric is darker? You can if you have it. If I have it, I use it. If I don't have it, I don't use it. Okay, ladies, I that left. <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessary. How's that? All right, I left the this in the hoop, but I hung on to the hanger and pulled it down until I got by there. It's just so much easier to cut these out with some tension on them. I think maybe all of us do that anymore. Um, she doesn't, you don't use iron-on stabilizer for the tile scenes. Just two layers of no-show mesh. Right. Okay. If you wanted to, you could use a layer of SF-101. The shape flux. Okay. But you don't want your tile scenes to be stiff as a board, or at least I do. Roger. You know what? I'm going to have to pop this out. There's too many little circles on it. I'm doing Perfect. it the hard way. It did turn out cute. It did. The green. Hi, ladies. I'm behind the camera now. Watch Careful. Out, ladies. Careful what you're saying about me. Okay, yeah. so then when you. So get, do you have to get super, super close then? As close as you can get without cutting the threads. Good call. Then you can take a Q-tip or a sponge or a wet cloth and just wipe that away. Or if you soak it, if you get it wet, it's going to get really stiff and kind of pucker sometimes. So this is all washable. You could just put it in the washer and dry it and then press it. Isn't this cute? Del, hi, everybody. It is cute. It's really a good project. I like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can look put at green that. Buttons on it. Look, look at the embellishing show. queen here. <laughs> she went to get her, uh, her so buttons. So you can put the, some of the green buttons on here to make it look like the bubbles. People were saying the IQ bubbles. Like, oh, yeah. I, yeah, you could do lots with it. Would be really cute. Um, and yes, Barbara, there is a, a blue gun. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, exactly. Green buttons, which would be really cute. And look, you could hang that on a door. Oh, look at that. So that would be cute. That would be a recommendation. Buttons, green buttons. Green buttons. buttons. Who's got the buttons? It's so cute. So we can get buttons for you, ladies. 
Yeah, look at the show. Oh, I love the Mylar. And yes, let me show you the kit. So kit is five ninety nine, <laughs> and it's just fabric and batting. So um, it's the grunge fabric, which we love. So which makes the cauldron look really cauldrony. That's right. And right. are we done? Exactly. I think we're, we're done. done. Yeah. What's your question? Um, everybody just said it's really cute. It is cute. Yep. All right. Super cute. All right. Yeah, the Mylar was a great idea, by the way. That's yeah. Christine's idea. <laughs> She's flipping her hair. And you're welcome, Beth. And you ladies all have a fabulous day. We'll talk See to you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.